everybody. I'm Tim Vidali, voice of the Charlotte Rush, and we are here post-game on this Sunday, November the 19th, following a fabulous weekend of Charlotte Rush hockey. We're going to do our Sunday afternoon post-game wrap-up, and first we're going to start with the Charlotte Rush Elite. Two big wins over Hampton Roads, and let's bring in Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite. And uh, Trevor got a lot of happy things to talk about, but let's first of all talk about uh, Saturday's game. A big 6-5 win in overtime. Come from behind win as well. Uh, that said a lot about your team to give up three goals in that second period, but tie it up in the third and win it in overtime. Yeah, you know, I thought we started the game very good. Um, you know, obviously we let down a little bit in the second period there, but, um, you know, kudos to our team for coming back and winning that game the way they did. Um, it, sh it shows a lot of character, and, it, and I think that's what helps bring teams together when you get wins like that, you know, hard-fought wins, and, and battling through some stuff there and making sure we, we you know, we stayed the course and, and got the win in overtime. Trevor, again, that big line of Julian Miranda, four points in Saturday's game. Johnny Barrett played well. Mark Kishko, that line is on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, you can't say enough about that line right now. They're really buzzing, and I think they're putting they're putting in the necessary points on the board that we need right now. They're stepping up in a big way. You know, they're all looked at, looked at to be leaders and on and off the ice, and and they're doing just that. You know, they're being leaders off the ice, and and they're they're performing on the ice, and it's and it. It's trickling on down through the rest of the team, and guys are feeding off that, and they're they're performing well, and they're carrying the team right now in a good way, and and it's bringing guys like Jimmy O'Kane and, and the Hammer Brothers up a little bit more, and guys like Carter Gallo and and Blake Blevins, they're all following suit, and then our defensive corp corporation as well. I mean, they're doing a very good job, you know, following the leadership of those guys on and off the ice. Let's talk about uh, Anthony Keating too. I know it's not often that he will give up five goals in a game. That was interesting, but the defense had a couple miscues, didn't always put him in the best spot, but still he recovered and made the saves he had to make to give us a win. Yeah, at the end of the day, a win's a win. You know, he... Uh you know, he, he was mad at himself for some of those things, but you can't fault him for everything. You know, it's a team effort. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the mistakes we made, they were just able to capitalize on them. And, you know, I felt bad for Anthony in some of those situations. But at the end of the day, he, he did what he had to do, and we got the win. And, and he's still, you know, he's still a very, very good goalie at the end of the day. So, um, you know, I'm not going to be too hard on him because he's won some serious games for mm -hmm. us, you know, past and present. And, you know, he, he's a guy that's done a great job, you know, in the position he's been put in for, for such a young goalie and having the success he has had in such a short amount of time here. And again, a couple of breakdowns weren't his fault, but a win is a win, and we will take it. Well, Trevor, let us transfer now to this afternoon's game, this Sunday, November the 19th. Uh, I've been watching all season long the uh, Rush Premier game, I mean the Rush Elite games, and boy, I thought this was absolutely a solid, solid 60-minute performance offensively, defensively, special teams. I don't think it could have gone much better for you today. Yeah, I thought we played uh, pretty close to a complete game. I mean, there are some things we, we could have uh, shored up there. You know, I think our discipline was uh, suspect. You know, we took some penalties we probably shouldn't have taken and, and kind of gave them some momentum when we shouldn't have. But at the end of the day, you know, I thought everyone was playing well. Our forwards all the way down to the D and the goaltending, I thought it was very solid from each one of those guys. Um, another character win. I mean, they came out. They needed. To, they they knew what they needed to do. They knew it was a rivalry game against Hampton. They know that they know what's at stake every time we step on the ice against them, whether it's here or in Hampton or at a showcase, whatever. Um, our guys understand what the rivalry is all about. Even the new guys now that they understand, they see what you know the guys that were here last year, you know, prepare how they prepare for games like this and how they perform on the ice. And I really think, you know, our veteran group helped carry the rest of the guys along the way. And at the end of the day, it, it, it was a great performance by our guys defensively, offensively. Uh, I thought our penalty kill was very strong. Jack Jack Rydell was phenomenal in that. Again, Julian Miranda, great way to start us off there with the first goal and. And, you know, Johnny Barrett doing the things he does and the rest of the, I mean, the, the Jimmy O'Kane, Shane Hammer, and Josh Hammer line was phenomenal today. You know, they stepped up in a big way and put pucks in the net when we needed them to on the power play, five on five, four on four, whatever the case was. They were very, very good. And I thought, you know, Carter Gallo, Blevins, and those guys, they really stepped up. Micah Amox, I mean, he, he could go all the way down the list. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was a phenomenal performance by every single guy in the lineup. I was very proud of him. And, and that's a fun game to coach and a fun game to be a part of because the guys are going. They make it easy on us as coaches and us as a staff, the way they're playing when they're playing like that. So uh, very, very proud of our guys to get that win before break here. Let's talk about uh, Jack Rydell, too. His last three outings, Trevor, two shutouts and a one-goal effort. So uh, he's playing very well in net right now, and that goals against is really plummeting for him. 
Yeah, he's having a phenomenal uh, run right now, and, and we're very proud of the way he's come along. You know, he's uh, you know he battled through it at the beginning of the year, and he, he's you know changed his ways and you know come with a different mentality, and I think it's really paying off for him. The the effort he's given in practice, the the stuff he's doing on and off the ice, you know, is, is really showing, and in, in it's in it's following through to games um, his practice habits have gotten better and he, he's been real solid for us when he's called upon I think we have you know I think we have probably the best three goaltenders in the league on our team and I think you know with their work ethic that's why they're so good and and every day they bring in every day they want to get better and they're working with you know Brian Holland and, and, and John Keating they do a phenomenal job with our goalies and you know and it's not just at the elite level it's at the premier level too and in every single one of them their statistics show for it so um, at the end of the day, we're very proud of what we have in that, and we're very proud of what we have in our organization. And I think uh, it's starting to sh it's starting to show with uh, the records of both teams and, and the confidence these guys have each and every game, and, and you know being prepared every time they step on the ice. One last comment on the Charlotte Rush's six to nothing elite win today over Hampton Roads. Uh, the Julian Miranda, Johnny Barrett, Mark Kishko line had the big game on Saturday. And then today, the Notre Dame line really comes on. Uh, Josh Hemmer with a pair of goals. Jimmy O'Kane with a pair of goals. Three assists for Shane Hemmer. Uh, is there a little competition going, Trevor, between those lines? Who's going to be the best? I, I, I would hope so. I mean, it keeps it fun. It keeps it light for them. And obviously, each line wants to be the better line for that any, any given game. But, um, you, you know, that that's a good thing about us is we have the depth and we, you know, we don't have to rely on one line. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going, everyone can play, and everyone can contribute. So today it happened to be, you know, the Notre Dame line outshining the other one. But, they, I mean, it's it's they're still right there neck and neck. Mm -hmm. They're very, very good. Mm -hmm. And then you have the other guys that are coming in and they're doing their work too. You know, the, the Amoxes, the Meisters, you know, everyone. Everybody like that. I mean, you can, like I said, you can go down the line. It's it's not just those six guys that are, you know, they yeah they've had a great couple weeks here, and I hope it continues. But you know, if it wasn't for them, and if it wasn't for the other guys that are on, that are out there doing their work too, you know, the penalty killers, the the guys, the Carter Gallows, the Blake Blevins, the Micah Amoxes, you know, and in, in the London Stricklers, and the guys in the lineup of the Charles Brindells. I mean, if it wasn't for them, you know, carrying their load and doing their jobs. The other guys wouldn't have be able to have success either. So um, it's a team effort at the end of the day, and I hope there's a little bit of friendly competition there. Uh, but it's not just between those two lines. I think it's between all four or five or whatever the case may be. So um, very proud of what we were able to do this weekend and very proud of what, what my team and what our organization has is, is, is been putting on the ice lately. Charlotte Rush gets a whole week off for Thanksgiving. Lots of guys going home uh, to visit family. Nice break in the middle of the season to do that. And Trevor, what a way to go into this Thanksgiving break. Big sweep at Hampton Roads. Big sweep up in Boston last weekend. It's just a, a great way to go into a holiday break. Yeah, definitely proud of our uh, last couple of weeks here. But you know, now our attention's turned to, to family and, and spending some time away from the rink and, and getting back to you know life as we know it when hockey's not around. So. Uh, I hope the guys take their time and, and enjoy their time away from the rink. But at the same time, we got to start focusing on the next task at hand, and that's Hampton again up there in Hampton. So um, they're going to be looking for revenge, and we got to be prepared and make sure that we're doing the things away from the rink during this break, and uh, we come back prepared and ready to go. Trevor, congratulations. Tremendous weekend for you and the Charlotte Rush Elite guys. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys back here soon. We'll do some more videos and get ready for that next Hampton Road series, this time in Chesapeake, Virginia. Thanks a lot, Tim. All right, Trevor Jewell, the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Elite Club with a big sweep of the Hampton Roads Whalers this weekend, 6-5 to five in overtime and 6 to nothing. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a blessed Thanksgiving holiday. I'm Tim Finelli, voice of the Charlotte Rush, and we'll see you next time.